Yeah, Luminix here. Let's just show you a quick example how we uh, treat the incoming wasps. So we just treat the fascia boards and the soffits. See the little gaps in the rakes. Do a little spot application for the foraging bees. And then we're going to use a uh, hand sprayer and get these, uh, see the bees hanging, coming out? The hornets. Not hornets, um, wasps. They're individual wasps. So we just get them. And then they'll come in contact with this chemicals, good stuff. And it's safe because we don't have to spray the whole yard or anything. We just spray some of the trees. And then we get all these incoming ladybugs. <laughs> Yeah, they fly, so I'm going to use a different residual for that and spot treat around the windows here for the ladybugs. It's just kind of not entirely necessary, but it'll reduce uh, the likelihood of having 100 ladybugs in one of your window frames. So we get calls for that in the winter time when there's like 100 ladybugs. We just vacuum those up. There's just so many limitless, limitless areas that they can get in. So, if we did an assessment, we would like to like seal up like gaps, like obvious gaps, look for cracks. I like to treat the shutters because they just like to hide behind the shutters. And you can see ladybugs everywhere, but anything flying, we don't really cover under warranty, so we're kind of doing it during our scheduled service visits anyways. If they were in the house, that's a different story. But ladybugs aren't, aren't one of the, uh, on the basic pest sheets, on more of the advanced, uh, what's it covered? And this one had carpenter bees covered on theirs. So on, on this side, see how it's not even sunny? There's no activity on this side because it's gonna get really cold where they can overwinter in the front. You know, during the, 20 degrees so even up to single digits overnight and then when the sun comes out it warms up so they could have a likely chance of surviving the winter months just without even being in the house they can just hang out uh, underneath the wraps and get warmed up and have a high rate of survival so because a big issue in the spring you'll never be pest free ever but uh, well, most people that call us is when the bugs are in the house or obstructing their obstructing their pathway. So, and the carpenter bees are really structural; they never leave. So, there's a lot of reasons why people call us. It's usually for one particular bug, but we see all this activity, stink bugs, all kinds of stuff. And they're not covered under the basic pest plan, but since I'm here, I'll, I'll, I'll go a little bit above and beyond. See the stink bugs? Yeah. Yeah. Anything that's a flying bug, we don't really, we don't really, you know, come running. Every time you see something that flew and landed on your house, we're not going to just come running to spray pesticide. So, we're going to do, do the best we can.